All right, so here's a couple pictures of the, my 69 Bronco, possibly putting it up for sale. I bought it in 2000 from California, drove it to Albuquerque, and from there I gutted it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a frame off, but I pulled the motor, tranny, transfer case, rebuilt everything, put a C4 in it, then uh, rebuilt the front and rear ends, 48s, uh, Detroit locker in the back, and now there's a Detroit in the front too, so we both have Detroit lockers. Plate bumpers, winch. Uh, I've got all three tops. I've got a hard top, full hard top, full soft top, bimini top, and uh, although the, the soft top I have, it's been up in the rafters for 10 years, so I'm not sure if it's still good, but it obviously goes with it. Uh, it used to be all nice and pretty and I could wax it until I met the guys in the Bronco Club here. But, uh, thanks to Paul's spotting, there's a few nick dinks and dings and make sure you see what you get. But, uh, plate bumpers, swing out tire carrier, got five tires. Um, let's see, IROX, actually they're fairly decent tread on them still. Two of them have been replaced. so since I did it all. So these two are fairly good, but the other ones are a little bit worn. Uh, let's see, 302, 289 heads, and uh, Edelbrock Profile fuel injection, MSD off-road, uh, power boost brakes, which are awesome. That was a huge benefit there. Um, let's see here. Hydraulic assist ram, steering, DC Barocco arms, control arms, and I can see those. And uh, rocket panels for all support. Skid plates underneath, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, skid plates all the way across. Uh, when I rebuilt it in 2000, only wiring harness front to back, which was a huge help. A lot of gives a lot of confidence in the wiring. When I originally built it, I was thinking of a fishing machine to go up in Colorado with my son fishing. So I've got both tanks, extended back tank with the skid plate mounted. You can see it from there, and the side tank there holds about 40 gallons total. Obviously, you don't need that for crawling. Um, let's see here, interior. Obviously, it's been sitting for in my garage for about five years. I haven't brought it out yet. Um, twin disc shifters. Uh, let me fire it up. Let's see, the battery was dead. I don't think it'll start. I had to jump it to get it out of the garage. Yeah, let me throw a jump on. All right, let's try it again here. I'm gonna use a truck to try to jump start it. have to start the truck. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, for the good battery she runs. As far as Edelbrock, the ProFlow, you can adjust everything, fuel curve, timing curve, advance, retard the timing. Uh, pretty impressive little system. Uh, let's see here. We're going to separate oil pressure, mechanical gauge, just to make you feel better. Tag. Tag works fine. Dark, but uh, yeah, tack. All the gauges in the cluster work, with the exception of the speedometer. Uh, over the hood, we'll go through the uh, transfer case. So we get all that works. Uh, shifter for 
Dino 20 is pretty nice. There's low range. Low, four low, neutral, four high. Okay, so everything works, C4 works. Uh, that's her in a nutshell. Uh, actually, over here, I do have. Shut that off. Um, and. Got the hard top over there. All the glass is good. Uh, needs to be painted. Also, got the original stock hood hiding up there. I don't think you can see it. So, got the metal hood, hard top. The uh, soft tops up there, you can't really see anything, but uh, that's it.